What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Rogue Galaxy for the PS4. Last time made our way here to Burkaqua Village. And Miri's gonna be sacrificed. Uh, we gotta follow Lilica and Miri to prevent that from happening. There'll be new enemies uh, beyond this point. Path to the altar. There is no star, so we just have to follow this path. It doesn't tell you where to go. We go this way first because I believe this leads to a dead end, which we have to go to anyway. Okay, new enemy here, Stinger. As much as we already fought before. Three stingers. Could just use abilities weapon out very fast, but I'll fight them straight up and then later I'll do abilities and stuff. Those guys were no challenge at all. Yeah, the quickest, most efficient way to take out the enemy is just to use abilities. Open the earth key for that. Cutscene time. What's this? A downed ship. Hmm. This looks like a Zerardian cruiser. Probably crashed here while on a tour of the Jurekin wilderness. They um, Daytron. Datron is the galaxy's top spaceship manufacturer. Kind of strange that it crashed. They're famous for their quality. Dagrum! Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, what's that? I just found it. Any ideas? Looks like a free shot. It's a gun that'll freeze anything it shoots. Wonder if it's still usable. Guess not. There's still some charge left, though. Oh well. I doubt there's anyone on this planet who'd know how to fix that thing. Yeah. That's a real shame. But we'll put it in our inventory anyway. It'll never get fixed, but we'll just put it in our inventory anyway. Absolutely. No, I'm kidding. It obviously you put it in the inventory for a reason. Remember, we're here for the booster oil, not the star god. You know when a character says in a JRPG that it can't be fixed, you know it's gonna be fixed eventually. And we got some magic lipstick there. That's what will allow Xal to get Angel's kiss. And we'll check that out. A maiden's holy kiss attacks all enemies. Instant. Yeah, so another AoE attack for her. I wonder where Lilica and the others went. You know, I think that's all of the chest around here. Yeah, you have to come. You have to come here and get that free shot, though. You have no choice. You're gonna need that later on. It so, if you don't get it now, you have to come back this way anyway. So, I 
That's why I went down here. I do want to make sure I got all the chests though. Waterfall over there, but no chest. Aha! There's something about this planet I just don't like. Frozen Slasher. That's a new weapon for. Uh, I think Jaster. No, it's actually a new weapon for Zegrum. Reminds me of the. It's like a frozen tuna from Dark Cloud 2, except. Or Dark Cloud 1 as well. I think the frozen tuna is in Dark Cloud 1 too. Yeah, it's kind of like that, except it's a sword instead of a tuna. I guess frozen tuna is like a tuna sword. And then in Dark Cloud 2 is considered a hammer. We're not having the best of luck here. Or was it considered a wrench? I'm not sure. It was either considered a wrench or a hammer in Dark Cloud 2. In Dark Cloud 1 it was a sword. The frozen tuna I'm talking about. What's with all the gloomy mugs? Anyway, the reason I'm using Zegram is because he has the highest attack right now. He has more attack than, uh... Uh, Jaster. Don't ever try to show off in front of me, you damn beast. Is there really such a thing as the Star God? Here they come. Here they come. Also, I didn't mention this in previous episodes, but if you defeat all enemies without taking damage, you get a player bonus. I, I can't just leave those two behind. I don't think you get the bonus if you use abilities, though. I could be wrong. Oh, we got a new enemy here, Red Spider. These enemies are annoying, actually. They, like, jump on your head and then knock you down. See? Very annoying. And I think they can poison you too. Well, I mean, <laughs> they're spiders, so that would make sense if they could poison you, yes. Anyway, we're supposed to go down that way. Let's go this way first. I was like, it's gonna lead down too, though. Okay, attacking defeat all enemies using Kasala alone. So that means you want to step back, uh, switch to Kasala, that way they don't attack, and then you could do an AoE, or you could just attack if you wanted to just attack. Yeah, I recommend getting a lot of those hunter coins, because you can, uh, we already have 19 of them, holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get that many of them so far. Everyone seems to be okay. Anyway, over here is a new shop. Uh, you can buy rubies, lapis lazulis. And he also has a new hatchet, warrior's hatchet, for Lilica, who we don't even have in the party yet. Go ahead and buy the ruby and the lapis lazuli. We can go ahead and use those in the revelation. Ooh, attack up. Nice. Sanchez fruit. Wake up drop. I give the lapis lazuli for to the jester there. Of 
Queen Bee Stinger. That's a revelation item. Let me switch back to Zegram there. Here they come. And we have a new enemy. They have like a, I think a spin attack. Or a, I'm not sure. I don't remember what they have. They, yeah, they throw like them explosive seeds at you. They have like a time detonation that they don't go off immediately. What a waste of time. So you can fight enemies in this area and then just go back here to the save point and uh this sucks. Heal up. That's the best spots spots to farm is near save points, because then you can just heal up your AP if you run out of AP. So if you want to farm, just go around save points and stuff. Here they come. Bastards. I knew we were gonna win. But why? I'm just going to use lightning here. Now we're talking. Don't ever try to show off in front of me. Yeah, so you don't get the player bonus if you uh, use abilities. Can't just leave those two behind. So you have to use no abilities and you can't take any damage to get the player bonus. Oh, we got a mimic. Drunken burst. There we go. Took it out. So all of our weapons are about to power up here. That's good. Go ahead and heal up a little bit there. Is there really such a thing as the Star God? Wow, 245 damage. Why did they even bother jumping? Okay, all of our weapons maxed. So now what I want to do is only use Toady. And I'm going to combine the Spectral Gleam with the Half Moon Rising. And we get the Badger's Might. I'm going to take the Vortex Star. Bind it with a normal shuriken. And we get the flame shuriken. Next up, I'm going to take Cosmo Talismans and combine them with the Pirate Staggers. Voila. 
Let me get the serious claws. And then next up, I'm gonna take the Ridge Crusher. Combine that with the Grand Edge. Voila. Let me get the Star Edge X. Next, I'm gonna take the Body Arms. Combine it with a Stun Gross. We get a false magnum. Next up, I'm gonna take eerie sneakers and combine them with the leather sneakers. And get prime sneakers. All right. Violet stars. Yeah, and he'll tell you what, um, that you need to combine and stuff. But they combine certain things with I mean. Yeah, you know, we got new new, new cactus there. Cactagus. Let's just leave it at that for now. Got a ho ho bird feather. That's a um, revelation item. Yeah, I would really get fire resistance. I don't really like whirlwind too much. No use standing around. Come on. Here they come, bastards. Needs lightning here. Oh, maybe player bonus. Okay, so I did take damage in that battle. So maybe player bonus is when you defeat more enemies than your allies do. Maybe that's what it is. Cutscene time. Get out! You need my help, huh? Why now? It's a little late for you to be making requests. I don't care one bit about that stupid village. And you can tell the chief I said so. Tell them they'd be plenty safe if they'd only had machines. Ugh. Fine then. Hmm? What's with you? Do you need something from me? 
Uh, no. Nothing really. What? Is that... No, it can't be. I smell a gadget! Where is it? Huh? Whoa! That's a rare thing you've got there! That's a freeze shot, isn't it? Huh? What? Oh, this. Well, yeah, but it's broken. Broken? Then fix it! Don't let it go to waste! Poor thing! Can't you feel its pain? Here, let me see! I wonder if it's okay. Oh, they've got nothing to lose, at least. Hey, can a free shot ice over rivers and stuff like that? That should be a piece of cake. A good model could even freeze a waterfall. Wow. That's cool. You three, promise me one thing. Huh? No using machines for evil. Only use them to help people. Don't use them to hurt anyone. And that is my policy. Here you go. Is it fixed? Try it and see. <laughs> yeah. The free shot has been repaired. <laughs> that was funny. I don't remember that scene from uh the game. Sorry about that. You okay? What did I tell you about hurting people? Y you got to be more careful. Machines are for helping, not for hurting. <sighs> Well, you're just starting out, so I guess I'll let this one slide. But from now on, watch where you point that thing! Anyway, there you go. You're all set. See you later. Thanks a lot, Sherio. See ya. Machines aren't bad unless you misuse them. It's the users that makes the difference. I wonder if the chief will ever understand that. I'm gonna start analyzing some bunch of stuff here. I should have been analyzing before. Making sure I analyze every weapon. I need to do that from now on just to make sure. Oh, it gets added to the frog log. be doing that from now on, analyzing every weapon. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't analyze a couple weapons that I just got. I guess I can get them again. I bet they're getting tired of waiting 
waiting for us. Little ruby there. Yeah, I'll give that to Kasala. Anything upstairs? Nope, need star key, okay. We can still make it. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll put that free shot to use. Later.